Welcome to the InfoOS Portal's Administrative Overview. Today, I'd like to highlight the simplicity of managing Infor's highly intuitive user experience. Our agenda for this demonstration includes the following topics. Applications, drillbacks, widgets, and workspaces. Now let's delve into each of these aspects in detail. What you're seeing here is an open workspace that I set to automatically launch each time I sign into the portal. There's a fantastic video called Introduction to M4OS Portal that's just perfect for getting you started. I'll pop a link in the comments for you. All right, let's dive right in. Click on the navigation menu, and from there, choose OS under the application section. Since today we're focusing on Portal, let's select the Portal icon, which brings us into its main screen. Kicking things off, we're greeted with the applications. To your right, you'll find all the applications available for the user to employ. If you're a portal system administrator, you can easily introduce new applications. Simply click on the Add Application button located in the upper right-hand corner. Let's put this into action. Three distinct application types can be incorporated. Firstly, Infor Provision refers to an Infor Cloud Suite application. Secondly, Infor Non-Provision is an on-premise Infor application which is set up, configured, and maintained by the individual's organization utilizing the M4 application. Lastly, we have non-M4. This is an external application that is designed to function seamlessly with the M4 OS portal. Portal also has an operation known as a drillback. You can consider this as a bridge or a shortcut from one application to another. Usually, a drillback serves as a connector from summarized information in one application to more comprehensive details in a different application. Now that we've talked about the concept of drillbacks, let's transition into another important feature of the M4OS portal, widgets. Widgets, defined as a single purpose application, offer instant insights or swift access to interactive functions. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will discuss three specific types of widgets. Publish widgets, standard widgets, and tenant widgets to better understand their functionalities. The standard widget catalog are those pre-configured and provided by the system out of the box. They come with a system upon installation and offer commonly used features and functions that are useful to most users. Publish widgets are individual base widgets derived from the standard widget catalog. They are then published by an administrator, making them available to the entire system. Once published, these tailored widgets become accessible to all users within the system serving as an efficient way to distribute key information or interactive functions across the entire user base. Tenant widgets are specific to the individual tenant in a multi-tenant system. They can be customized to suit the particular needs and preferences for each tenant, allowing for a highly tailored user experience within the same overall system. Now, let's delve into the different types of workspaces. Standard, Published, and Private. We'll explore each one to gain a better understanding of their distinct characteristics and functionalities. Private workspaces are precisely what they sound like. Workspaces that are exclusively created by a user and accessible only to that particular user. In other words, these workspaces provide a personal and private area for individual users to manage and customize their content without any access granted to others. Standard workspaces are delivered out of the box from N4 and include application-specific workspaces. When a new application is added by N4, these will automatically be populated with their corresponding workspaces. From time to time, N4 may introduce changes to their standard workspaces, but there is no need to worry. We have introduced an update all or update selected. This empowers the user with the choice to manually synchronize their standard workspaces at their convenience. Infor has thoughtfully provided this option to avoid any unwanted disruptions to your workflow. You won't have to worry about unexpected syncs that might catch you off guard. Instead, you can take control and decide when to synchronize your workspaces, ensuring a smoother and more seamless experience. Now, let's venture into the process of publishing a standard workspace, which is initially read-only but can be customized later on. To begin, Create a copy of the standard workspaces by utilizing the Publish as a Copy button. This action generates a duplicate and adds it to the Publish Workspace catalog. 
However, use caution with the publish to existing option as it has the potential to overwrite any existing published workspace. Therefore, it is essential to double check before using this feature to avoid unintended modification. Let's dive into the steps for customizing a previously published workspace. Jump over to the Publish Workspace section and search for the workspace you just modified. Here is the one I just published, but for purposes of this demonstration, let's search for another one. Once you find it, select the workspace and click on the ellipses for more options. From there, choose Open in Catalog and then Add Workspace. This will add the customized workspace under the navigation menu in the workspace area. Now that it's in the workspace area, let's personalize it. Start by clicking on the ellipse once more, then select Edit Publish Workspace. Click Edit Publishing Configuration, and let's change the name. From here, you can also change permissions. I will set it so it can be viewed by everyone. Click on the Apply button, and your initial configuration changes have been made. Let's say you want to remove a widget from the workspace. To do this, click on Edit Layout, and then click the X on a widget you want to remove. If you wish to add a new widget, click on the Add button. And this will bring you to the widget catalog. Once you're finished making your changes, click on Save, and then Republish. And that's it. With these straightforward steps, you can easily customize your standard workspace to match your preferences and create more tailored user experiences. Now go ahead and make your workspaces uniquely yours.